Now in Zapier, we're able to create transcripts and get metrics on our chatbots. Yes, if you're familiar with this channel, these things we've been working with when it comes to Zapier's front end, we're gonna learn everything we can do with it. Also, maybe features we wanna request for it in the future so we can start leveraging it a lot better in the context of our business. Therefore, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out Zapier, chatbots, everything we should know. Welcome back, y'all. In today's quick video, I wanna go over the new features Zapier released, I think yesterday. Also on top of that, kind of give insight of possible new features that I think should be added to chatbots. I also encourage y'all to leave in the comments down below what else you wanna see from Zapier chatbots. I'll take in this information, and if I ever get in calls with Zapier, I'll let them know, as these are new products, but there's probably a ton of room for it to grow and become more effective for our use cases. That being said, yes, new mic. Do I sound better? Also, let me know that in the comments as well. Does this mic sound better? I'm still playing around with it. This is video one with this new mic. I may need to adjust the settings, but if it sounds good, or at least better than it used to be, I'll take it. This is my Twitter in the description down below. The little birdie, click the link. Let's proceed today's video. So if you're not familiar with chatbots at all, I'm gonna go ahead and link that video right there. I just kind of give a basic overview of this new user interface. Basically think of it this way. We're able to leverage OpenAI's API in the context of ChatGBT, but in Zapier's front end, this allows for a lot of no code solutions. As you see, it's right in our taskbar right here. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Another thing you might be asking is how the heck do you have 18 out of five chatbots in use? That's because of the fact that I was an early adopter and basically created a whole software platform on top of a software platform. It was called Bot Brew. It was really fun. Had a great time doing it. But in today's video, let's just go ahead and check out this chatbot feature. So we're just gonna hit our chatbot here. And I've done a bunch of videos. If y'all wanna learn more about this stuff, you can just check out this channel here. But I've done a bunch of videos here. So what's new here compared to what we saw in the past is this feature called conversations. This is gonna give us metrics and it's also gonna give us the underlying dialogue that was sent in that conversation. So let's just test it out here. We're gonna go ahead and just hit the link up here that allows us to open this chat and just talk to it. Okay, so this is not Proctor at all. This is purely for the use case of transcription. We're just gonna go ahead and say, how can I help you today? I wanna make pasta with a new ingredient of pineapple. I know I spelled it wrong. Don't worry, GBT can understand that or open AI's API in this context. Here we go. Let's talk to a little bit more. Okay, what would be a good dessert with this? Obviously, in your use case, it would be business oriented and maybe a landing page that we've created here on this channel. Maybe it's your chat bot on your website that we've created here on this channel. Whatever it may be, here is the new value point. Okay, we had a conversation. Let's just say that's the end conversion event. I wanted to make pineapple pasta, which honestly sounds disgusting, <laughs> and then some type of dessert along with it. That being said, now if we come over to that very specific chat bot, we can go to reload this. And as you'll see, we'll have two different transcripts here. There we go. So we got this conversation here and this conversation here. And in addition, it seems like it actually counts the amount of messages. I believe that's what seven is what's referring to here. So let's actually see that. Okay, that's what it means. So seven means there's seven bubbles, including the AI bubble and your bubble. And then five is five bubbles, right? So AI bubble me with that being said we also get metrics for the past 14 days such as conversations messages and actions it seems like in order to get access to more days more storage in this context we need to upgrade so let's go and check that out so as you can see they actually put all the billing under one roof now it used to be stripe and separate billing in that matter but makes it more clear on your billing statement where your money is going towards which is nice and it seems like in the context of what we want to do here we'd probably need to upgrade to advanced if we want further duration on our underlying transcripts. That being said, that covers most of what's new in this update. Let's go ahead and give some possible pointers of where we'd want this to go. Two major things come to mind. First major thing that comes to mind is we need the ability to set up an action, even if it's just a webhook, that allows us to get a notification slash grab the data from these transcripts if a certain type of message incurs. For example, let's say I made a chatbot here for a real estate company and they're going on a uh, back to back, back to back, to back to back. If the user mentions XYZ property, we should be able to set up some type of action here, some type of trigger that will basically grab the data of that transcript and we can leverage it somewhere else, even as far as putting it into a Zapier table, which kind of leads into my second improvement of the chatbot feature, which is the actions. Right now, the only way we can kind of leverage uh, contextually automations outside of a chatbot is it requires a user to manually press a button which in some contexts is helpful, but in other contexts is not helpful. 
What I'm thinking is more along the lines of the user event is more in the sense of user says X, Y, Z, and then this would trigger everything else. This kind of leans back to what I just said about the real estate example, but giving us the ability to basically have it so that if a X, if certain words come up in a certain filter we set up, this would trigger a flow for whatever the reason may be. One context would be that we already know certain words usually typically come up in our messages, in our emails from our past that show that a client is more interested in the possible services or products we provide. So that just about does it. That's the update on the chatbots. I wanna make this real quick video. I really encourage y'all to let me know in the comments how else you want this to be improved. Is the pricing even good for you? Is that too much you think? Are you using chatbots right now? Would you use chatbots for if they did XYZ thing? On top of that, let me know how this mic's going. Brand new, this could be a complete flop. Who knows? Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here showing you how to leverage Zapier in a ton of different contexts. That might have been a voice break. I'll see you in the next video. Now we know the new update with Zapier chatbots. We have transcripts, which is nice. That's the playlist. That video should be tailored to you. And then this button, let's just find out. Something may or may not happen when you click my face right there.